Hello and welcome to another ZBrush for iPad getting started tutorial. Following up on our latest video, we're going to talk about the gizmo and polygroups. So I have this demo soldier from the previous video where I merged the goggles and the body. If I look at my subtool palette, you can see that this single subtool has both the goggles and the body. So if I hold this button here, that's the poly frame button, you can see I'm looking at the polygroups. So each one of these colors is a different polygroup. If I long press this, I can turn on and off the line or fill, which is what I did over here. I just turned off the line. So now you don't see your actual wireframe, you just see the polygroups. So if we take a look at it over here and we wanna isolate one of these polygroups, you can hold down the top button on your widget and drag your finger over to the mask to switch on your selection brushes. And then if you tap any of these polygroups, you're gonna isolate them. Keep in mind that we're still on the same subtool. We're not moving around between subtools. We're just isolating pieces of that geometry based on the polygroups. So polygroups are useful. So you can isolate, for example, certain areas and then sculpt underneath the arm, for example, and you have that kind of control. They're also useful if you wanna split multiple objects into different subtools, and also if you wanna mask them. So let's talk about the gizmo. If I tap this little button on the bottom custom bar, and then I hold my masking key or the left icon on my widget, and click any of these polygroups, while holding my masking key on the gizmo, it's gonna mask everything else besides whatever I just tapped. So in this case, I tapped this chest polygroup. So that means the arms, the legs, the head, and the goggles are all masked. So now if I move, for example, my gizmo, I'm just moving that part of the mesh. Speaking of moving and the gizmo, if you press and hold any of these little arrows, you're gonna move whatever subtool you have selected. You need to keep in mind that the gizmo also works with symmetry. So let's turn off the symmetry for now. So if I move this, I am basically moving my subtool. Obviously, if I mask, in this case, my goggles, and then control tap outside the open document to reverse that mask, I can move the subtool and leave the goggles behind. The little boxes on the gizmo are for scaling. So you can scale on any axis and the rings are for rotating. So you can rotate your model on any axis and this outer gray ring is gonna rotate whatever you have selected based on the camera plane. Same thing with these little arrows on the corners, they're gonna move along your camera plane. If you want to reset your gizmo, you press and hold Alt or the bottom button on your widget, and now you can move your gizmo around without affecting the model. So if you hold that button and then tap this little round arrow icon, you're gonna reset the orientation of your gizmo. What if I want to split the goggles into a separate subtool? I can do a group split, and that will basically split into a separate subtool, whatever is a different polygroup. So if I go to my palette button up here on the top of the right bar, and under palettes, I can go to my tool palette, and under polygroups, I can click auto groups. What this does is it's gonna create a single polygroup per each mesh. So anything that's welded together or part of the same continuous mesh will be the same polygroup. So if I click auto groups, it's gonna retain a single polygroup for the body, but as you can see, this is still a separate polygroup. So now all I need to do is go over to our subtool palette, go to split, and there's a button called group split. And if I click this, it's gonna say it's an undoable operation, click okay. And now we have our demo soldier goggles and our demo soldier body as separate subtools. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.